Hello and welcome to Dawn of Comics. I'm going to be going through DC Connect because we found out some more information on Future State and I'm just super excited to look through it. Um, that was sarcasm by the way, I don't know if you caught that. Um, I'm not going to lie, some of the covers are pretty decent. Um, most of them are still absolute garbage. I mean, the Catwoman one looks quite nice. The Wonder Woman one is stunning. We'll get a closer look as we go through. But, I mean, this event is really not doing anything to drag me in. I mean, it just seems to be getting worse and worse. I mean, what is that? Superman House of L. Uh, there was this. Uh, centuries into the future, the bloodline of Cal L, the hero known as Clark Kent, continues meet a new generation of Kryptonian heroes as they stand against one of the greatest threats they've ever faced. A diabolical foe called the Red King. Yeah, so we've got lots of Supermen, I guess. I mean, this th that's Starfire. That's clearly Starfire, isn't it? Um, well, Superman's old. Um, the art's a bit... I mean, it's alright. The faces are alright, but... Um, variant. Who's the variant by? The variant is by J. Anasleto. I think that's how you pronounce the name. But the variant... Um, yeah, it's alright. Looks very regal. Uh, um, I'm not interested in the story. The cover's okay. Um, we've got Aquaman. The first cover was dreadful. It was kids, wasn't it? And they looked really bad. The second cover looks quite good, actually. I'm not going to lie. Grown up. Grown up Aqualad looks wicked. Um, really liking the design of him as an adult. He doesn't look so um, weak, pathetic, um, feminine, effeminate. However you want to... He just, he looks like Aquaman now, he looks awesome. And he's grown up, uh, Aquaman's grown up daughter. Um, incredibly flat chested, I don't know how old she's meant to be. I mean, she looks like a woman, but I mean, there's nothing there at all. So yeah, he can't draw. Uh, but then in, in the variant, she's got a little bit of something. The variant's a bit, it's, mm -hmm. I'm just, I'm so tired of just this, I'm tired of being so negative about this. So let's go about Batman the next Batman even. Um, Batman fighting a group of Deathstrikes by the looks of it. Deathstrokes even. Yeah. It's, it's alright. Again, they're, they're doing that prop. They're doing that thing again, which I had a problem with the last round of comics. They are just one colour. I mean, that's just very red for the sake of... Well, I don't even know. What sake? For what sake? Why is it just red? I mean, it doesn't even make the black stand out. If you're going to make the cover red, then you want the black to pop. So I don't know what they're doing there. Out of those, I think the Aquaman cover is the best. Um, it's the more dynamic, it's more colourful, it looks a lot better. We've got um, issue four. You can see there, Batman's taking his mask off. It's not a clear picture of who it is, but it's pretty, pretty much going to be Loose Fox now, isn't it? But um, it's an okay cover again. But if, if okay is what you're going for, then... You, you shouldn't be a cover artist. You don't want to go for okay. You want to go for wow. Um, the Batman Superman cover is, again, okay. Batman looks fine. His face is fine. Superman's body looks a little bit... Mm, bit basic, but fighting a pig creature and what looks like another Deathstroke copy, or maybe it is Deathstroke. I don't know. No variants for these ones. Um, the variant for the new, the next Batman number four is by Jim Lee, so that should be good. And the variant for Batman Superman is by Arthur Adams, so that should be good. So you never know, I might pick up some of these variants. Uh, the Catwoman, like I said, that looks, that's quite nice. I mean, the face is beautiful. Um, very, very beautiful Catwoman face and an interesting cover. Um, very noir, very futuristic. I, I quite like that. The variant is okay. Who's the variant by? Hitchum Hapchi. Um, I'm mutilating that name. But we're getting a nice look at Catwoman's new costume. It's not very different. It's just got some blue highlights and she's got like a Tron disc on her back for some reason. Uh, the Dark Detectives have been the best covers so far. Uh, the Batman design is awesome and the covers have been really good and that variant is awesome awesome so i am probably definitely probably definitely 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 going to be picking that up that looks awesome and that's how you use red because you see the red on him and it amplifies the black on him so 
Well done. Well done. Uh, Dark Detective again. Pretty decent covers. The variant, um, a little bit down in quality this time, but it's still pretty good because you're getting a full look at Batman's design. And I really like this design for Batman. I know it's just armor and I know it's nothing special, but I really like it. Uh, the Flash. The Flash was one of the better covers, wasn't it, before? This looks pretty interesting. You've got Wally West again going after Barry. Barry, Barry looks like Santa Claus. <laughs> he even looks like he's... I know it's trickster stuff and he's got stuff from his rogues, but that it kind of looks like he's carrying presents and he's just like shocked Santa. Uh, it's all right. Um, I might... Uh, no, I don't think I'll pick it up. I might... Oh, I might do actually because I might want to read it about the flashes. I don't know, see, some of these are changing my mind the further in we're getting. I mean, Green Lantern hasn't changed my mind at all. This cover is just as bad as the first one. Ugh, look at that. That is just awful. Look at the, fa I mean, that wouldn't be out of place in like Rick and Morty. What is that? Um, Variant looks quite nice, I suppose. Who's that by? Where's the Variant? Uh, it doesn't say, yes it does. Uh, Jamil Campbell. Yeah, I think Jamil Campbell did the first cover as well. Yeah, it's quite nice. Um, I like the style. But um, I won't be reading Green Lantern. Harlequin. The second cover looks a lot better than the first. The first was god-awful. Um, this looks all right. I mean, wow, Harley's very busty, isn't she? Um, <laughs> so we've got Scarecrow and Black Mask. That's, that's a pretty nice cover. The variant, again, is by Gary Frank, so I'm definitely going to be picking that up. Um, Gary Frank's one of my favourite artists, and if he's drawing Harlequin, it's a double whammy for me. So I will probably get, well, I'll definitely get the variants, and I'll probably get this standard cover as well, because it's a lot better than issue one. What else have we got? This, this is beautiful. Look at this. Look at the face. She is stunning. Who's the artist for that? Uh, where's the artist? Immortal Wonder Woman, written by, art by Jen Bartel. Ah, oh, beautiful. The variant is not great at all. The variant is very dark and sharp. I'm not a fan of that. But that standard cover, I'll definitely be picking that up. Justice League issue two looks a lot better than the first. It doesn't look so generic. You've got the tr the new Trinity there. Look like they're exploding. Maybe something to do with Eclipso because of the purple magic. Maybe Satana. No idea. But again, the variant is stunning. This variant. Who was the variant by? By Kale Nuke, Nagu. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. A absolutely stunning. Um, I might pick up the just. Oh, I don't know. Do you know what? I'm just. I'm not interested in the Justice League this Justice League anyway. I'm definitely getting that Wonder Woman though. Gorgeous. Cara, <laughs> um, Cara Zor-El, Superwoman. If you thought the first cover was hot garbage, well, I thought the first cover was hot garbage. This is a hot, sweaty summer garbage. Look at this, look, look at this. It's dreadful. It's just a, I mean, did Ursula send these after her? Is she trying to get her voice back? What's happening? It's just some eels and she's zapping them. And once again, the variant cover is a 3D model because he's got a computer. Well done. Well done, you. We're not impressed. Um, Legion of Superheroes, um, I assume, is a Cartoon Network artist because that is just pathetic. Uh, the variant, again, very nice. Um, poor subjects, but really nice design. Who was the artist on the variant? Ian McDonald, yeah, really nice. It's just a shame they're working on this garbage. This is the one with the flash with no legs. <laughs> oh, I meant to say as well, this flash down here, I mentioned in my previous video that they were probably non-binary and I was right, they're non-binary because it's 2020 and this will be out in 2021. The Nightwing, again, great covers. The first one was pretty good, I thought. I, the variant was great by Nicholas Scott. Um, the second one's by Nicholas Scott again, which explains why it's so good. So that's nice. Um, the Robin Eternal. Oh, if you oh, I thought the last one was bad. I thought the last one was bad um, for many, many reasons. But this is so bad. Look at that. Look, that's fuck. Oh my god! It just needs to just not. 
I, I, who's the artist on that? Art by Eddie Burrows. No, you no, no, you're not allowed to do things like that. And then the variant cover, and the variants by Daniel Warren Johnson. He's still getting work somehow. I mean, this is wow. I mean, if you like Robin, then this must hurt because that is awful. Shazam, the Shazam cover was great for issue one because it was very much Shazam that's going on now. I mean, variants fine, covers fine. Suicide Squad, the first one was very generic. They're all just looking at the camera and this is another generic one where they're in a reflection of someone's a helmet. This time it's Orion. Um, that Aquaman face, why? Why? Oh, this is a flash with no legs. They've got two flashes with no legs. 2021. Um, the variant's great. Variant looks awesome. I probably will pick the variant up. Whoops. Who's a variant by? Derek Chu. Yeah, see, that's why. Look at that. It's awesome. Um, this, yeah, I'm definitely going to pick that up. Um, I said that was Orion, and I think I'm wrong. It's um, Peacemaker, isn't it? Very, very Orion looking with the helmet. Yeah, that's Peacemaker. John Cena's going to be playing him in the new film. So I'll probably get the variant. The standard cover can just burn in a house fire because that's garbage. Uh, Superman of Metropolis. Decent Kara. Look at that. So they can do it. They're capable of it. Whoa. But um, they're capable of doing a decent Kara. So I don't know why she's wearing that ridiculous dress thing or that skirt cape thing. Um, again, again, what is wrong with them? Why did they? Why are they obsessed with making Superboy's body this long? Look how long his body is. Why is it that long? That's not how long a body is. Stop it. Variants nice. It's got a load of Superman. Looks like you've got New Fifty Two Superman there. And you've got Jonathan Kent. You've got proper retro Superman. Look at the size of the S. And then you've got real Superman here with his blue pants and this hand here. I'm not sure what Superman that is, but. Yeah, it's a nice cover. And the variant is by... Who's the variant by? Uh, Inhiki Lee? No, that's not even how you pronounce it. I'm not even going to try. Um, there's Superman vs. Imperius Lex. Dear God, look at that. Is this Mad TV? Oh, sorry, Mad Magazine even. That's just... Re I'm, I'm guessing that's meant to be Lois. That's meant to be Superman. And then Lex is hugging Nightcrawler for some reason because the artist doesn't know the difference between DC and Marvel variant is decent but plain and boring um variant by scan mm. that's that is just absolutely atrocious and would not be out of place on the back of a mad magazine cover what else we got super the next issue see that's not too bad it's um plain again but decent decent enough it looks more co more comic booky and accurate than the previous one and the variant looks a lot better as well. Who is that variant by? David Nakayama. Oh, I thought that might have been Ed McGuinness for a second by the bulginess of the muscles. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, not bad. This, Superman Worlds of War. Now, I don't like that it's very, very red, but my God, that's a handsome face. Look at that. That is beautifully drawn from the cross-hatching to the beard to the scars and the the shine in the eye that's absolutely beautiful that cover is stunning um i'm shocked i'm shocked at how beautiful that cover is and then they give you garbage for the variant so it's nice that they're keeping consistent one good cover one absolute garbage cover they've just shifted it around this time nice to be consistent dc so superman wonder woman cover very nothing but then we get a dodson cover <gasps> oh, I, uh, Terry and Rachel Dodson can do no wrong in my eyes, so I'm definitely getting this cover. I love Terry and Rachel's art. It's just absolutely stunning. Their Harlequin work, their Wonder Woman work is fantastic, and I will even accept these fake pretenders to the throne. I will definitely be getting that. And finally, I think it's finally... No, it's not finally. We've got more. So Swamp Thing, you can't... Like I said before, you can't go wrong with Swamp Thing. They've done pretty well. Um... Swamp Thing holding up what I assume is meant to be a planet or maybe a moon sort of in front of the sun. It's nice. The variant's lovely as well. I love the flowers on him. 
just to add a little pop of color. That's nice. And his shadow making a skull, which is pretty cool. Yeah, that's decent. The Teen Titans. This cover looks very much like the previous one with them all falling down and hurt and stuff. Um, I will say the faces are lovely. Absolutely lovely. Oh, Cyborg and is that Beast Boy merged into one? Hmm. Um, got Bunker back. Nice to see Bunker back. Um, Red X. Yep, um, I'm probably gonna buy the standard cover for that as well, but I'm definitely getting the variant because it's by Dustin Gwen and he's awesome. I love it. The Wonder Woman cover is nice, actually. I'm not gonna lie. Um, well, and then you get to... Okay, so this is really nice. The artwork on the Cerberus is fantastic. The artwork on this little wood nymph is awesome and this wild boar and this face here and this horse, it, it, this um, Pegasus, it's all perfect. And then you get to Wonder Woman and her head seems a little bit too big for the body. Like the closer you use it, I don't know, it looks a bit weird. I don't know if it's the position she's in, but um, yeah, it's that's a nice enough cover. And the variant's lovely as well. I mean, these are gorgeous variants. They were for the Wonder Woman line. So mm, they're doing better. I'm not going to lie. They're doing a lot better. Um, character wise, I'm just, I'm not interested in this Wonder Woman. I'm not interested in this Superman and this Wonder Woman together. Um, this, this is just beautiful. Oh my gosh. Um, I'm definitely going to have to be picking this up. That is just stunning. I'm not interested in Imperius Lex or Superman of Metropolis. Although actually saying that, I might pick this up if Supergirl's going to be in it. So I will probably pick that one up. Suicide Squad, I I kind of want to read just to see why Aquaman looks like a... Why he looks like... Ooh, who does he look like? The Slender Man. Oh, it's weird. Shazam, I don't read anyway. That Robin, I would have picked up, but those covers are just absolutely atrocious and I refuse to pay money for that. That's disgusting. Um, Nightwing, he starts to bore me now. Legion of Superheroes, no. Kara, <laughs> I'm definitely not picking up Kara Sorrel. <laughs> that is so not even funny. Oh, I'm laughing, but I'm really, I just want to cry. 20, 20 plus years I've been giving DC my money and now they just don't want it anymore and it's sad. Um, I'll probably pick up that variant. Um, like I say, I'm not reading any of these. This is all garbage. I'll just be, um buying the covers because they're pretty I mean this is gorgeous look at that oh this Wonder Woman and that Superman fit. oh beautiful Harley I don't know why her hair is pink and blue She's just a SJW no Harley's not an SJW it should be red and black but whatever why read a comic and learn about the character you're writing about because that's just too much work isn't it Stephanie Phillips you know Work is hard. I'm just going to make up my own character. Uh, Green Lantern, nope. The Flash looks quite interesting, so I'm going to read Santa Claus Flash. Look, he's even got Christmas lights on him. It's so Santa Claus. Uh, Dark Detective, I'm definitely reading. Because it's Bruce Wayne. See, this is, you know, it's Bruce Wayne. That's why it looks interesting, and that's why it sounds interesting. Don't no one want to read about Lucius Fox as Batman. We want to read Bruce Wayne as Batman. Stop giving the names to people. No one reads Batman because it's Batman. We read Batman because it's Bruce Wayne. Uh, Superman Batman, I might read it. I think it's only two issues in it. Yeah, two of two. I'll, I'll probably read it. It's not going to take up too much of my life. The next Batman is four issues and I'm not investing four issues of my time. Aquaman, mm, doesn't interest me. And Superman House of L. That's, uh, that's a one shot, but it is 48 pages. I might, I don't know. Who's writing it? Philip Kennedy Johnson. Mm, maybe. We'll see. Oh, just so not impressed with Future State. I have to I have to admit this is just really depressing. But it is what it is. So I am going to leave it there and you can comment with your thoughts on any of the covers. Let me know which ones you're going to read. Let me know which ones you're going to avoid. Um, no opinions are wrong. These are my opinions. If you don't like them, you don't agree with them, that's absolutely fine. I might not like or agree with your opinion, but you are just as welcome to have them as I am to have mine. So yeah, this was just a rant video I needed to get off my chest. 
So I'm going to go and hopefully the next DC Connect has no future state to wind me up and I can just see what's coming and I can smile and be happy. Until next time, take care, stay safe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.